Today I'll show you how I calculate all of my true profit for my TikTok organic dropshipping stores on Shopify. And I will also be revealing all of the products that made me money, exactly how much they made me, my pure profit and sales. So go ahead, stay excited, enjoy, and let's get into it. First off, you should use what's called bookmarks, right? This bookmark tab is very efficient. It will save you hours and hours. First thing is under dropship. This is my dropshipping tab. I would click it and go to profit tracking. You can see I just have it saved so I don't have to scroll through all of my spreadsheets that I ever made to find this one. Next, I will explain to you how the spreadsheet works. So first off, you have the product tabs on the bottom. Each tab here is basically the same spreadsheet, but it's for a different product and that makes it easier to differentiate. So this one is one product that I ran called Hover Bottles. You can look them up if you want. Then we have LED curtain. Then we have dough slider, poo, then I have lover's blanket. And the last tab is all. These are the combined total sales for all of the products and all of your tabs down here together. So you could have an overview of how much you made exactly up until now. And you can see here my sales, my profit, and the Shopify fees and fulfillment cost. So let's go ahead and start with a product. First off, we'll start with Poo. It's a little simpler because there's only one variant. The first column is pretty obvious. It's the date. Now, when you have a day here that you didn't make any sales, you just skip it and ignore it because you don't want tabs that are unnecessary. And then the spreadsheet could go super long. Next, we have the units sold. So how many of those units you actually sold that day? Next, we have Shopify fees. Now these are based calculated on 2.9% of the transaction plus 30 cents. This is a formula. You don't have to touch this. The only cells you would have to fill out information in is the gray ones. So you can see units sold and sales. The rest is calculated for you automatically. I made your life a hell of a lot easier. So. Units sold is exactly how many variants you sold that day. You can see here. Shopify fees are calculated for me. I sold one variant and I paid 46 cents in Shopify fees. Sales, I made $15.99 that day. Next, we have the costs. So this is exactly how much it cost me to fulfill the item. And this includes the Shopify fees plus the fulfillment cost, which we'll get to in a second. Then we have the profit. Green just means the profit, so it's easier to recognize. This is how much profit we made on this sale. Next, we have the profit margin down here, and that is just a percentage form of your profit, right? You wanna know your profit margin, you wanna increase it as much as possible, and that could be increasing the price of your product or decreasing your fulfillment cost, right? Next, we have totals for that specific product. So for my two product that I sold, I have totals. I have how much I paid total, in Shopify fees, which was $425. I have fulfillment cost right here, how much I paid to actually fulfill this product to my supplier. So I paid my supplier $6,700. Next, we have the sales, which is 15K. Then we have the profit, 8K. That's the pure profit after Shopify fees, after fulfillment costs. And there are some other things that aren't associated, but it's very, very close to the true profit. Next, we have the total profit margin and this is the average across the lifetime of you selling that product next in here you would place the unit cost so here is the only column that's not gray that you would place your own number which this is the unit cost this is just how much it costs you per item to fulfill or how much you pay your supplier per item so this is the whole spreadsheet you can see if we move here it goes across from January 21st, I started running the Poo product up until June 14th, I'm still making money. Now I'm not running this product anymore, but the store is still active, so it's making me sales. Now you can see, let's go back here. Now let me show you a live example of how I actually fill out this spreadsheet. So let's go to Lover's Blanket. You can see here the totals, pretty neat, pretty neat. Now the only difference with the Lover's Blanket is that you have different variants for one item. Right, so if you only have one variant, you're good to go. Um, I'll leave the links in the description for these spreadsheets, you could just copy them. But if you have multiple variants, you can use this spreadsheet as well. You can see I have a medium, a large, an extra large, and a mystery box. And that's a little separate, I added it in there. Let's go ahead and get started. So if you want, if you have a lot of days that you filled out here, you can just click on one of the, like the date, and then control, and then right arrow and it'll actually jump straight to your last column. So first off, we'll start by filling out the dates. 
let's go to the Shopify home. The last seven days, I made this much, 2.2K, right? So what I do is actually every seven days or every Sunday, I set aside some time to fill out the spreadsheet um, and it takes me like 15 minutes. This way you don't have to do it every day. It's not annoying. Every seven days seems like a good amount. Next, we would go into analytics and we would go to the last seven days and you would see I made 2.2K and then you can see here each day how much I made. So let's go down and boil it down to each single day and copy and paste the data to the spreadsheet. So first off, we would go to Sunday, the 16th, right? So June 16th until June 22nd. Let's go and June 16th until June 22nd, right? So that's a week. There we go. That's a whole week right here in the dates. Next, you can see the gray you fill out, right? So you have the variance. I already know these by heart, but just for the video, I will do this for you. I will freeze this column. So first you would start with the sales. Under sales, you would fill out these days, right? So first, how much we made on June 16th. So we would go to June 16th. I made this much money. You would just copy the number and paste it in there. Next, you would go to June 17th and you would copy this number. It's pretty repetitive. June 18th, let's see, 362. You would just paste it in there. June 19th, 431. And this is all revenue, right? So we want to find the true profit of how much actually gets into our bank account or our Shopify balance. Let's copy June 20th, June 21st, 292. Then June 22nd, last day, Saturday, 796. Pretty nice, almost 1K day. Next, we would fill out the units sold. So we would actually go back to June 16th, right? Because that's the date that shows here. And we would go into top product variance by units sold. This column is very useful. So if you don't have this, um, this little column here, you would click customize and then you would drag it in. Let's go and click on view report and then it'll show us the report of how many variants we sold for June 16th. So I like um, sorting it by variant title. It just makes it easier, bunches them together. We would go to waterproof blanket. We see medium, right? Medium, I sold one medium. So I would go to the tra profit tracking sheet. I would type one and you can see automatically it calculates for me I paid one and a half dollars in Shopify fees, 19 costs in general, and then I paid profit. I made $35 on that day, and it's a 64% profit margin. Next, let's go to June 17th. So we would change this to June 17th. We sold large and a quantity of one. So let's go back here and go to large, which is right here, and we would click one. So we sold one large. Now, for some reason, if you don't fill out the top medium one, it will not fill out the rest of the info here. I'm not sure why I didn't find a fix for it, but just go ahead and click zero for medium and then it'll fill out the rest of the info. And as you can see, this is how much we paid and how much we made. Next, we'll go to June 18th, one medium, two quantity, and another medium, just because it's a different color, you can see black and gray, four. So that's total we sold six medium and you can see here we have a mystery box that we sold so a mystery box we sold one so six medium one mystery box so we would go six medium and then one mystery box and you can see that's um shopify fees sales costs and that's true profit right in green next we'll do the same for june 19th once you get the hang of it, depending on how many stores you have, it should take you around 15 minutes per day um, or once per week. Now you can see, let's go to mediums. We sold two mediums. We sold two larges and one extra large and another extra large. So two of each, right? So two, two and two. You can see the same thing again, pretty repetitive. We'll go to June 20th, same thing. We sold one large and one extra large one large and one extra large. Let's go to June 21st. Now you can see we sold two mediums, two larges and one mystery box. So two mediums, two larges and one mystery box. Next last day, we'll go to June 22nd, Saturday. We sold two plus one plus eight, that's 11. 
So 11 mediums total and two extra larges and two mystery box. So 11 mediums, two extra large and one mystery box. This is how much we made that day. $500 profit per day. That's pretty good. Now, as you can see, this is the reality of drop shipping. It's not consistent. Every day is totally different. It really depends on your videos and how much traffic they drive to your website. So now we can calculate our weekly profits. So we'll go June 16th. We will hold the mouse from here and drag it all the way to June 22nd. That's seven days. And on the little icon here on the bottom, you can see sum. If it says something else, you can click it and click on sum. And that's basically the sum of the whole week of what you selected. We did $2,200 in revenue. The sum of Shopify fees, we paid $63 in Shopify fees. And let's see our pure profit. This is our pure profit, $1,400 for the week. And that's a pretty good amount. Um, this product has been very consistent for me. So I don't know if I should be revealing this, but go ahead, you know, I love giving free value. Now let's go to our totals. So we would go to the tab all, and we can see that it went up. So every few weeks, your total sales that you've made in total, grand total from dropshipping will go up. So you can see the sales we made 52, then profit 31, and Shopify fees 1500. Um, you can always change this up, the look of it, but it doesn't matter, it's good to keep things simple. Now, if I were you, I would definitely use your calendar for everything. So here's an example. You would go to your calendar, you would go to Sunday, you would set a certain time, let's say you wake up at eight, so you get ready, by nine you're ready to start working. I like it being the first thing that I do. So by 9 a.m., you would go to 9 a.m., you would set a 15 minute slot, so you would click and drag, and then you can type, fill out profit tracking sheet, right? Next you would click here, and then you can actually choose the exact time, and then doesn't repeat, you want it to repeat weekly on Sunday. So every Sunday you will have this automatically. So you don't have to do it every week. Next, you wanna go down here. You wanna make it green for money. <laughs> then you would click save. Now if it takes you 30 minutes, that's okay. You can make it a 30 minute slot as well. That looks like this, half of the bar. Each bar here is an hour. Then you would basically do that and it'll send you a reminder on your phone before. And this helps a lot. Hope this video helped. Have a good one.